the total number of people that we allowed in from Syria, genuine refugees, last year, I, I have to say I think it was pitifully small. There are um, persecuted minorities in, in Syria. And I, I think there's a case for saying that if we had proper control over immigration policy, if we had a, an Australian-type system of immigration and we could democratically decide how many people we, we allow in, um, then there's a very strong argument to say that actually we should allow in more genuine political refugees. I think we could work with uh, agencies, non-governmental organizations in, in Turkey and find uh, persecuted minorities who, who genuinely fear for their, their future. And I think we could, we could certainly be more generous. If I may say, last year we accepted as a country 12,000 people for political um, asylum. That's a tiny, tiny number. The, uh, uh, the overall number of uh, uh, net immigration into this country was 330,000. I would like us to have an immigration system where we could say yes to people genuinely f uh, fleeing persecution, but, but, but no to people with criminal records from, from, from the EU. Yeah, I just want to talk about those net migration figures uh, now that you've brought them up. They are at a record high. Do you think the government's doing enough to, to tackle it? I mean, clearly they're not. They're you know, not meeting their own targets. But they're targeting people like students and unskilled workers. Are they really the kind of people they should be targeting in terms of dealing with this problem? Oh, no, I, I think the government, the most charitable thing I can say about ministers is that they're clueless. Um, the minister said he was disappointed using the sort of the tone and the manner of a perhaps a, 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 a vicar explaining why, why the village fate had been cancelled. I mean, it, it's not disappointing. It's, it's shocking. A basic a function of government is to control who comes in. And this government is, is not up to the job of doing that. Now, I, OK, well, how would you question... tackle the immigration issue then? Because as it stands, the figures are high. How would you get that down? How would you tackle it? Well, we, we cannot continue to have the free movement of, of people. We cannot continue to allow nearly half a billion people from the EU the automatic right to come here. This is about fairness. There are, in my constituency, first and second generation Britons who deeply resent the fact that they can't bring auntie over to this country for a wedding. And at the same time, uh, we see people from the EU coming into this country and there's nothing we can do to say yes or no, regardless of whether they've got a criminal record or not. Surely it's not a fair system of immigration that says no to a computer programmer from India, but yes to someone with a criminal record from the EU. We need a system like in Australia where every year Parliament would vote on the total number of visas to be issued. We could then have a constructive debate about the skills we need. And yes, I would be prepared to stand up in the House of Commons and say, you know what? We need to extend a bit of humanitarian aid to a few genuine refugees from Syria and give them genuine asylum. And you know what? If we had democratic control over immigration in the Australian system, I think people would buy that.